Hey guys! So today I'm going to be reviewing a book I just finished recently. It is Renegade by J.A. Soders. I can't really, I don't know how you pronounce the last name. So basically I gave this book a 2, a 2 out of 5 because I didn't care for this book. It just, I, did, I just didn't really like it. And so before I tell you guys more about that, I'm going to describe to you guys the plot of this book. It is about, our main character's name is Evelyn, and Evelyn lives in this dystopian under underwater world called Elysium, I think the type of I'm not sure. I'm just going to say Elysium, okay? Okay. So basically Evelyn is like the daughter of the people, yeah. She's like the daughter of the people. Her mom, her parents are rich, and her parents are just really important people, and so she's the daughter of the people. And so basically, since she's the daughter, of, she's, since she's the daughter of the people, she sort of gets whatever she wants. Um, she's just really important to society, to the, under, to the underwater world. And basically, her life is fine until until this until this guy comes in. Now, this guy's name his name is Gavin, and he is a surface dweller. And in Elysium, in this world, surface dwellers are not good people. People at Elysium don't like them because they think they're bad people, and so. When Gavin comes, when Gavin finds the place, when Gavin finds Elysium, um, Evelyn's mom wants to kill him right away because, you know, they don't like surface dwellers, they hate them because they're mean, they're mean people, and so her mom wants to kill him, but Evelyn convinces her mom not to because for some reason, she ends up getting attached to him. And so, and she tells her mom she wants to marry Gavin because her mom, her mom's forcing her to marry another guy who she doesn't like. He's like, oh, I forgot his name. He's like, he's like a guard. And his mom approves of the guard, and she wants Evelyn to marry him, but Evelyn doesn't want to, so she asks her mom if she can marry Gavin instead. But she doesn't really want to, she's just saying that so Gavin can survive. And so, basically, her mom really wants to kill Gavin, and so her mom ends up becoming this evil, evil villain person. And so Evelyn and Gavin try to try to escape Elysium. They try to escape, they try to find find ways out, but for some reason, they just can't get out because her mom keeps on like trapping them inside. So they, they just can't find a way out. And so that's basically what the book is about. They're just like running around the whole place, trying to escape, trying to get Gavin back on land where he belongs, so he doesn't get killed. Okay. The main reason why I didn't like this book was because, like, like all dystopians, I was bored. Now you guys are probably thinking, why was I bored if it's a, if it's a dystopian? I mean, the whole time they were trying to escape the place, so there's lots of action, but I personally just couldn't get into it. It was just so boring. Just couldn't get into it. Okay. I'll admit, the beginning of the book was really good. I really liked the beginning. I thought the characters were fine. I liked Evelyn. She was a good main character. Um, Gavin was okay. Another main issue I had with this book was... Um, this book definitely has insta-love in it. And I hate... I hate insta-love. I just hate rushed romances in books. I like when relationships... I like when like, relationships develop really slowly. And... The romance was just too fast in this book. Like, Evelyn and Gavin, they knew they knew each other for five days, and they said they loved each other. And I was like, what? I'm sorry, guys. I just, I hate, inst I hate insta-love so bad. It ruined, it ruins books for me when a book has insta-love in it. I mean, I don't mind if the author does a good job with it, but this author, she's not too, a really good job with it. It's just that insta-love bothered me, because they knew each other for five days, and they loved, they loved each other. Like, I was like, what? So, yeah. Um, some of the good things I liked about the book was, um, Besides the cover, I love the cover. Obviously, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, look at look at that. Oh, and look at the back. But um, one of the things I liked about the book was I thought the plot was unique. This is like a sci-fi dystopian, and I really liked the underwater world because Elysium was really creative. So I give I give the author credit for thinking about this world because it was creative. Um. Like I said before, the main characters didn't personally bother me. I liked the main character. Um, yeah, just the main, the main issue I had with this book was I just couldn't get into it. So that was the main problem I had with it. I gave it to, I gave it to Lily Pad, so at least I didn't give it one. I was generous. But, um, but guys, just, be, just because I did not like it doesn't mean you guys won't. If you guys love sci-fi dystopian books, I'm pretty sure you guys will love this book. I just, I personally just didn't like it because I don't like dystopians and sci-fi. So, yeah, gu yeah, guys, that was my review for Renegade. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I would still recommend it if, if you guys are interested in it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.